In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on January 13, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. San Diego State vs. New Mexico In the realm of collegiate basketball, a riveting matchup unfolds between two Mountain West programs in the enchanting land of enchantment. The number 19 ranked San Diego State Aztecs embark on a journey away from home, crossing paths with the New Mexico Lobos on a Saturday afternoon. In their recent clash, San Diego State narrowly escaped with a victory, triumphing 81-78 against San Jose State on the road but falling short of covering the spread as a 10-point favorite. Conversely, New Mexico Mexico faced a setback on the road, succumbing to a defeat against UNLV with an 83-73 score, failing outright as a two-point favorite. Although the Lobos hold a historical advantage in the series at 49-44, the Aztecs have dominated the recent meetings, securing victories in four of the last five encounters, including a 73-71 road triumph on February 25, 2023. For New Mexico, this game represents a crucial opportunity to accumulate quality victories. The previous contest against against UNLV showcased their offensive prowess, scoring 73 points, but their defense faced challenges, conceding 83 points. Galen House emerged as a standout player, contributing 16 points, 6 assists, and 3 rebounds. The Lobos maintain an average of 82 points per game, yet their defense allows an average of 68 points. Donovan Dent stands out as a key player, averaging 16 points while shooting 35.3% from the field and 33.3% from beyond the 3-point arc. San Diego State enters this matchup brimming with confidence, riding a seven-game winning streak. In their recent game against San Jose State, they displayed offensive prowess by scoring 81 points, securing a three-point victory. Edan Ladi played a pivotal role, notching 21 points, 10 rebounds, and two assists. The Aztecs maintain a season average of 77 points, coupled with a robust defense allowing only 66 points per game. Despite a 64th-ranked defense, they recognize the need for a formidable defensive effort in this upcoming encounter. Edan Ladi leads the team with an impressive 22 points per game, both Boasting a 57.4% shooting accuracy. Last season, the teams split their meetings, with New Mexico holding a 1 to 0 to 1 advantage against the spread. In the current season, the Lobos sport a 10 to 5 against the spread record, while San Diego State stands at 6 to 8 against the spread. The Aztecs have showcased their prowess with a 3 to 1 record against major opponents, including a significant 10 point victory over the then number 13 ranked Gonzaga. Despite being 3 to 2 straight up on the road, the Lobos maintain an unblemished 8-0 straight-up record at the pit. However, their struggles in conference play and offensive challenges pose significant obstacles. Although they may keep pace with the Aztecs, the lack of depth may hinder their ability to compete until the end. Recent trends reveal San Diego State's 4-1 against the spread record in the last five games, while New Mexico is 2-3 against the spread during the same span. New Mexico's offensive explosiveness collides with the seasoned San Diego State team that advanced to the national title game last season. While the Aztecs have improved offensively, led by Ladi, their defensive prowess remains formidable. Despite having home court advantage at the pit, the Lobos have encountered difficulties in their recent games, dropping two of the last three. In a hard-fought battle, San Diego State's experience and tenacity propel them to a road victory. Thus, the San Diego State Aztecs to cover the spread as underdog stands as our full-game side pick. Examining the season statistics, San Diego State has witnessed the overhitting in 8 out of 14 games with a posted total. Their defensive efficiency ranks 18th, displaying strength in effective field goal percentage defense, 3-point defense, and overall field goal percentage defense. The team's pace, measured by adjusted tempo, places them at 220th with an average of 68 possessions per game. On the flip side, New Mexico has leaned towards the under in 9 out of 15 games this season. They boast a 69th rank in a 
defensive efficiency, 129th in effective field goal percentage, 36th in turnover percentage, and an 81st standing in offensive rebounding percentage. Eager to run, the Lobos rank 17th nationally with 73.9 possessions per night. Despite both teams displaying offensive prowess, their above average defensive performances lead us to taking under the projected total as our full game side pick. Kentucky vs. Texas Agricultural and Mechanical The upcoming Southeastern Conference showdown features the sixth-ranked Kentucky Wildcats, boasting a commendable 12-2 record, squaring off against the Texas Agricultural and Mechanical Aggies with a 9-6 standing. Kentucky's impressive six-game winning streak includes a dominant 90-77 triumph over Missouri in their second Southeastern Conference game at home. Their prowess is particularly evident on their home court, where they hold an 8-1 record this season. The lone defeats suffered at the hands of UNC Wilmington. Conversely, Texas Agricultural and Mechanical faces a challenging scenario having lost their initial two Southeastern Conference games, falling to both LSU and 16th-ranked Auburn. Despite starting the season 6-1, the Aggies find themselves with a 5-2 home record, looking to rebound from recent struggles. The Wildcats, characterized by their youthful exuberance and high-scoring performances, present a dynamic and captivating force in collegiate basketball. In stark contrast, the Aggies adopt a deliberate, defensive-oriented approach, yet find themselves in a precarious 0-2 conference start. The impending clash against the formidable Wildcats amplifies the pressure on Texas agricultural and mechanical, given the historical tendency of underdog home teams in major conference games to upset the odds. While such matchups often favor the underdog, a calculated risk on Kentucky is in the offing, recognizing the challenge that lies ahead. Despite a seemingly modest 9-6 record, the Aggies boast a noteworthy 34th ranking according to Ken Palm's metrics. However, their offensive struggles in conference play, scoring in the 50 against Auburn and LSU pose a significant hurdle. The challenge intensifies against Kentucky, a team averaging over 90 points per game, second only to Arizona in the national standings. The glaring disparity in offensive output between the two teams, with Kentucky consistently breaching the 90-point mark and the Aggies struggling to reach 60 in conference play, raises questions about the underdog status. The substantial gap in scoring output tilts the favor towards Kentucky even in the face of a demanding road fixture for the Wildcats. Kentucky's season trajectory has been impressive, losing only two of their initial eight games against Kansas and UNC Wilmington. Since then, they have secured victories in six consecutive matchups against Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Louisville, Illinois State, Florida, and Missouri. The recent Missouri encounter showcased a resilient Wildcats squad, leading by a modest five points at halftime and ultimately securing a 90-77 victory with standout performance performances from Rob Dillingham and Tree Mitchell. On the flip side, the Aggies started the season strongly with five consecutive wins but have struggled to maintain momentum, recording only one instance of consecutive victories in their recent 4-6 run. Facing challenges from teams like Florida Atlantic, Virginia, Memphis, Houston, LSU, and Auburn, Texas Agricultural and Mechanical finds themselves in a testing phase. The recent matchup against Auburn resulted in a 66-55 defeat, with Henry Coleman and Tyre Radford leading the scoring efforts for the Aggies. Despite being one of the youngest teams in the nation, Kentucky has emerged as one of the best, consistently surpassing the 80-point mark in all but one game this season. Noteworthy wins over Miami and North Carolina highlight the Wildcats' ability to navigate challenges. The return of Aaron Bradshaw to the lineup has complemented Tree Mitchell, providing a potent inside presence. Conversely, Texas Agricultural and Mechanical concluded 2023 with a 3-3 record over the last six games, grappling with offensive struggles and two consecutive losses to LSU and Auburn. The Aggies' defensive prowess is commendable, but their offensive inconsistencies pose a significant challenge against the explosive Wildcats. As the matchup unfolds, Kentucky's offensive prowess, averaging 91 points, is expected to overpower Texas Agricultural and Mechanical, struggling to find offensive rhythm and failure to breach the 60-point mark in recent games. The game is anticipated to tilt heavily in favor of Kentucky, so the Kentucky Wildcats to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick, given the substantial gap in offensive capabilities. The clash in College Station embodies a clash of contrasting styles, with Kentucky's preference for a fast-paced game conflicting with Texas Agricultural and Mechanical's deliberate, slow-paced approach. The Wildcats, led by a roster of freshman guards on a commendable win streak, 
face a season Aggies team with juniors and seniors, fighting to reverse their fortunes, anticipating Texas agricultural and mechanicals attempt to dictate the tempo and impose their style at home. Both teams' strong front court presences are expected to limit easy scoring opportunities at the rim. Recognizing the Wildcats' high tempo and scoring threats, the Aggies aim to control the pace, relying on experienced guards like Wade Taylor IV to manage the ball and minimize turnovers. Texas agricultural and mechanicals' recent trend of going under the total in their last four games reinforces their commitment to limiting possessions and playing a controlled, strategic game. As such, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Houston vs. TCU In a highly anticipated Big 12 showdown, two formidable basketball programs from the state of Texas are set to clash on the hardwood, each aiming to secure a crucial victory. The number two ranked Houston Cougars are embarking on a road trip within their home state to face off against the TCU Horned Frogs on a Saturday evening. Houston is coming off their first defeat of the season, a closely contested 57-53 loss to Iowa State on the road, where they fell short despite being favored by one and a half points. Conversely, TCU enters this matchup with momentum, having recently triumphed over number 9 ranked Oklahoma with an 80 71 win at home, covering the five and a half point spread. The historical series between these two teams has favored the Cougars, holding a commanding 48 25 lead. Their most recent encounter on December 4, 2012, resulted in a 54 48 road victory for Houston. As the teams prepare to renew their rivalry, both squads are keen on securing a pivotal win in the ongoing season. Following Following Houston's recent loss to Iowa State, there has been considerable speculation about the team's performance, with some questioning their capabilities. However, a victory in this matchup could potentially quell the doubts surrounding the Cougars. In the previous game, Houston struggled to find offensive rhythm, managing only 53 points and shooting at 38% from the field, including a 26.9% accuracy from beyond the three-point line. Despite this setback, Houston maintains a season average of 75 points on offense, contrasting with their formidable defense, which leads the nation by allowing just 50 points per game. Statistically, their offense ranks 174th, while their defense holds the top spot. TCU's recent triumph over Oklahoma showcased an impressive offensive display, scoring 80 points and securing a 9-point victory. Emmanuel Miller played a crucial role, contributing 27 points, 9 rebounds, and 1 assist. Throughout the season, TCU has maintained an average of 85 points on offense, while their defense concedes an average of 68 points per game. With an offensive ranking of 15, TCU acknowledges the significance of a solid defensive performance against a formidable opponent like Houston. Despite TCU's overall strong performance this season, their encounter with Houston comes at a challenging juncture. Houston, fueled by the desire to bounce back from their recent loss, poses a formidable challenge for TCU. The Horned Frogs have faced difficult against top-ranked teams, with their win over Oklahoma representing their first victory against a top 100-ranked team in the Ken Palm standings. Notably, Houston occupies the top spot in these rankings, underscoring the formidable challenge TCU faces in this matchup. Houston's defensive prowess, ranking first nationally by allowing only 50 points per game, stands as their unequivocal strength. Their ability to limit opponents to a meager 34.6% field goal percentage positions them strategically to control the pace of the game against TCU. Offensively, Houston maintains consistency, averaging 75 points per game, with key contributors such as LJ Cryer, averaging 16 points, and Jamal Shedd, facilitating with six assists per game. The combination of defensive mastery and offensive balance makes Houston a solid choice for success in this matchup, given their demonstrated adaptability and resilience throughout the season. Anticipating a defensive clampdown by the Cougars against the Horned Frogs, the Houston Cougars to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. In 11 out of their 15 contests, Houston has remained under the projected total, emphasizing their defensive efficiency. They lead in defensive categories such as two-point defense, effective field goal percentage defense, and turnover percentage, forcing turnovers on 27.2% of opponent possessions. Houston's deliberate playing style is reflected in their adjusted tempo, ranking 336 with 64.8 possessions per night. On the other hand, TCU has seen eight overs in their 15 games, displaying offensive 
points of efficiency in categories like effective field goal percentage and two-point field goal percentage. Their faster pace is evident with an adjusted tempo of 72.6 possessions per night. The matchup is poised to make TCU work hard for every possession against Houston's staunch defense. Houston's adjusted tempo of 64.8, ranking 336, aligns with their deliberate and controlled style of play, complementing their defensive strategy. In contrast, TCU, with an adjusted tempo of 72.7, ranks 31st, indicating a faster-paced approach. However, the clash between these contrasting styles is likely to be dictated by Houston's formidable defensive scheme, which has consistently limited opponents to 50.3 points per game and a field goal percentage of 34.6%. While TCU has exhibited strong offensive performances throughout the season, this matchup against Houston presents their toughest test yet. In their previous game against Oklahoma, the Horned Frogs scored 80 points, but the context was against an Oklahoma team that struggled on the road. In contrast, Houston has been involved in low-scoring contests on the road, suggesting that this game could follow a similar pattern. Considering Houston's defensive efficiency and slower pace, the game is expected to be a low-scoring affair. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick, reflecting the defensive mastery and strategic play expected from both teams. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.